Hello, it's Mark, and welcome to Big Man in the Woods, another episode uh, for the new year. Wow, it's March already, and uh, and you're saying it's the new year. Well, uh, I just have to apologize, really. Uh, January and February were absolutely hectic for me, and uh, for work reasons and family. Uh, There's a new edition on the way. Uh, I'm doing a a load of radio stuff, so uh, hence why there's not been a podcast for so long. And my apologies, but um, I'm going to get back on track, and I'll start releasing new podcasts every month. Month, guaranteed okay you, you've got my word guys you've got my word so uh, i thought this episode we'll do something a bit different we'll, we'll interview someone now you've heard the name i'm sure you've heard the name is a guy called bushcraft boy everyone's been raving about this guy he's uh eight years old and he releases some awesome youtube videos how-to videos about uh his kit and recently uh he's just one, done one about setting up a hammock and people have been messaging him going, Hey Mark, have you heard of this Bushcraft boy? And yeah, I have. I've been watching his videos. Uh, I've been watching his stuff that he's been posting online. So I've known about uh, Bushcraft boy for for a while now. And I thought, you know what? Let's get him on the podcast. So uh, Mark, enough talking. Let's go and talk to Alex, otherwise known as Bushcraft boy. Big man in the woods. Big man in Okay, so on the podcast this uh, episode on Big Man in the Woods, we are joined with someone who is getting a lot of hits, and a lot of people are talking about him in the bushcraft world. It's um, it's Alex, otherwise known as Bushcraft Boy. So, Alex, hey, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you doing on this Saturday night? Fabulous. What have you been up to today? I've been fishing with my dad. And I hear it's your first time fishing. Yes, it is. So I what caught th- three fish. What fish? Do you know? Rainbow trout. Oh, wow. Did you did you take them home and eat them? Um, yes. Oh, do you like trout? Yes. So are you a keen fisherman now? Are you, are you hooked on it, as they say? Just about. Um, yes. r- remind me of your um, YouTube channel name. Is it just Bushcraft Boy? Yes. And you've kind of got a really cool little logo, haven't you? My logo is basically a Nottinghamshire flag with a shield in the middle with a picture of a fire and a deer on each side. Oh, excellent. And who designed that? Pardon? Who designed it? Was it you? It was Dad. Oh, ha-ha. So, Alex, let's, shall we talk, what should we talk about? Should we talk about camping or bushcraft or your YouTube channel? What do you want to chat about? Don't mind. Right. Bit of each, please. Bit of each. All right. Let's talk about how you got into camping then. Okay. Tell me, how did you, how did you find it? Did your dad take you along? Yes. And was it a one-nighter? Did you just sleep in the garden or did you go away into the woods? We went in the garden. In a, in a tent? Yes. Oh, was it scary? Was it spooky? No, it no. was fun. Oh, oh, and did you did you have any uh, animals in the night come up to your tent? No. Wow, because I live in London and we have lots of foxes, and that's one thing I was always worried about. I was camping in my garden, whether some foxes would sneak in my tent and, you know, eat my food or something. Yes, just cats. Eh? Just cats. Not- oh, that's, that's not too bad, is it? Just cats. That's all right. So from uh, one night camping in the back garden, where did you go next? We did the woods later. And how long? Two nights. And that was in a tent as well? Yes. Good. Alex, how much do you know about tents? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. So is a two-man tent really for a two-man? Well, no. One man. One man. So why is it called a two-man tent then? Not the first clue. <laughs> is it because it's like one man and his kit? Yes. So it's a bit cosy, isn't it, really? If it's if it's yeah. two men staying in a tent. It's even better if you've got a sleeping bag and the camping <laughs> bed. Ah, oh, sleeping bag. What kind of sleeping bag do you have? I have a camouflage one. Oh, okay. Is it a mummy style one? Does it go over your head? Yes. And what uh, what season is it? Do you know the season? Four season. Oh, okay, okay. And what does that mean? What um, temperatures? Is it a really so you can use it when it's really cold? Yeah, it's good for all year round. Oh, fantastic! And in the summer, do you use that one in the summer as well? Yes. Oh, good. And you recommend this one? Yes. And do you know the make of it? Um. Oh yes, Vargo. Oh, okay, excellent. What kit have you got, Alex? So you've got a tent and you've got a sleeping bag. I've got a top. A handbook, yep. cutlery, knives, quite a lot. 
Okay, let's let's talk about your let's talk about your tarp. What kind of tarp is it? Is it from what company? Is it Didi Hammock Tarp? Yes. Okay, and what size is it? Three by three. Three by three. And is this the one that you use in your video to make the tarp tent? Yes, it's the only one I've got. Okay. Is it complicated to make that tent? Because I watch your video and I'm thinking, wow, that's fantastic, and it looks quite complicated for me to do. No, it's not complicated. It's quite easy, actually. So you, you've just got to learn the steps, haven't you? Yes. And do you do that all the time when you go camping? Hmm, no. What do you use when you go camping then? My tent. Your tent. What about your hammock? I've seen your videos on your hammock. Well, I haven't used it yet, but I'll hopefully use it next time I go camping. Oh, okay. So you've just been messing around with it in the in the woods. Basically, yes. Oh, okay. No, that's good. So, nope. what other kit have you got? I can't really tell you. What a first aid kit, survival tin. Yep. yep. Oh yes, I've got a biffy bag. What, uh, what knife have you got? Have you got a Moira knife? I've got a Swedish Army mess kit, which I've done a video on. Yep, I've seen that one. I've got a billy can. Yep. Yes, I've got some stoves. Okay, so when you go, how? What do you use when you go cooking? When you cook your meal? Billy can. Billy can. So with your billy can over the campfire, what what would you cook? If we were around a campfire now, me and you and your dad, what would we have for our meal? Um, bacon, sausage and eggs and hot chocolate. Oh, that sounds perfect, Alex. Thanks. So what else would we do when we're going camping? Do you do, do, you do some um, tracking or anything like that? Yes, and make a shelter. Uh, a natural shelter using um, leaves? Yes, leaves, oh. ferns and wood. Okay, have you made one yourself? Yes. It's hard work, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it takes a long time to get a, a, a proper decent shelter using natural materials. Yes, it, it does. And then you've got all the creepy crawlies and the spiders. Do you like spiders? Yes. Oh, not me. I, I hate, I I hate spiders. Sprout. Say again. I like snakes. Yes. Yeah. Yuck. Not me. No. So, um, camping-wise, where would you like to go camping then? Do you like to just camp on a field or do you like to camp in woods? What's your ideal location? Woods. Woods. Why? I like the scenery. Okay. So what's your favourite tree then? Birch. Uh, the silver birch. Why Why is that your favourite tree? Birch sap. Ah, anything else? Um, it's pretty. And what can we do with the bark? You can use it as tinder for fires. Yeah, and then we can use the bark to make little pots as well. Have you made any of those little pots? No, not yet. Oh, you should ask your dad to help you during the summer holiday. Well, Easter holidays are coming up, aren't they, soon? Yes, I'm halfway through year four. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Uh, who's the boss? Is it you or your dad? Me. Ah, <laughs> Alex, right? So we're in the woods, me and you and your dad. It's, uh, it's what should we say, seven o'clock, and we want to get the campfire going. How are you going to help me get the campfire going? Fire steel, also known as a feather rod. Okay, and, and tell me the technique, what you use to get that fire going. Well, I put the fire steel on the striker, and then I pull the fire steel back. Okay, okay, you pull the fire steel back. Ah, you use that technique. Ah, okay, that's a good technique. So basically, and what tinder? you put things in place, and then pushes them forwards. Then, yeah. when once they're off the fire steel, they basically just go for the fire. Basically, our fire. No, that's good. What tinder will you be using? What for? To get the fire oh, going. The fire. So, to, to get the... to catch the sparks. Cotton wool and Vaseline. Is that the is that the recommended one from Bushcraft Boy, then? Yes. So, um, do you make any particular fire? Do you use the the pyramid style or the, the log technique? What What kind of technique do you use to build your fire? Pyramid style. Okay. And then uh, just put some logs on it to warm it up here. Yeah. Get them burning down. Pop your billy can on and then you're going to cook us. What did you say? We're going to have some oh. bacon. Yes. Some sausages, some eggs, hot chocolate, beans. Yes. And definitely. then entertainment wise. Are you, are you going to sing for me and your dad? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh-oh. Alex, you've got to entertain us somehow. I am entertaining you. I'm telling you about bushcraft. All right. What? So what does bushcraft mean then? What does the word mean? Uh, no clue. What do you think it means? 
everything. Everything. It's about using nature, isn't it, to help us survive in the in the outdoors. So, Alex, I I have some questions from some listeners from the Big Man in the Woods podcast. Is that okay to ask you? Of course. But they want some some advice from you, okay? So, there's a guy who owns um, Military Mart up in Lon- uh, up in Liverpool, and his name is Paul Woods, okay? And he wants to know what would be your dream bushcraft exhibition. Where would you Where would you want to go? if you could go anywhere in the world using bushcraft? Set up camp in a foreign country with a hammock. Uh, any particular country? I don't mind, just any foreign country. Would you like it to be hot or cold? About in the middle. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Okay, my mate Jeremy Edwards, he says, who are your bushcraft heroes other than your dad and me? Zamias. Oh, what about Bear Grylls? Yes. But you prefer Ray. Pardon? You prefer Ray other than Bear, though. Yes. Why? He knows everything. He's a better teacher and he does good books. Can't answer than that, isn't that? That's a good answer. That's a good one. Okay, um, have you ever thought about joining the Scouts? Uh, yes, but when my dad and mum have tried to ring them, <laughs> they're not answering. Really? Oh, leave it that with me. I'll I'll uh, I'll sort it out for you. Thank you. Okay, and the other question is, what piece of kit would you like to get your hands on to test and why? Don't know. If you could have any kind of gadget in the world, have you seen the BioLights, you know the the kettle that you can charge your phone on? Um uh what else? What other gadgets, cool camping lights. Um Clothes. What about a woodlaw knife? Yes, water What's filter. That? You'd like to test out a water filter? Yes. Have you ever made your own water filter? Pardon? Have you ever made your own water yes. filter using charcoal and straw? and? Yes. And how did that go? Not very well. Oh, I tell you what, I'll, I'll ask my mate Paul Kirtley. He will be able to give you some um, help and advice on that, okay? I'll Thanks. send you some of his links. No problem. Okay, uh, another question is, what is better, a tent or a hammock? A hammock. Why? Because it's higher up and it's swingy. (laughs) You like it to swing around? Yes. Okay. So you prefer a hammock than a tent. Oh, that's interesting. I thought you would say a tent because you're you're enclosed. And if it rains, but if you're in a hammock, what's over your head in a hammock? I've got a top if it rains. Uh, so I can well, there we go. Over the top of my hammock and keep oh, okay. it water. Keep it nice and dry. Yes. Oh, that's good. Uh, what else? What's your favourite piece of kit? What do you really like in your in all of your camping gear? It was my top. You can do so much with it. You can make a shelter. You can make a tent. You can catch water, and you can use a, it as a windbreak. A windbreak? How do you use a tarp as a windbreak? You do it straight up. Okay. From the ground. So I, I've got a question about my hammock, and I'm, I'm hoping you will be able to answer it because uh, I've heard you are a hammock expert. Yes, so I, have. I found two trees at the kind of an ideal distance. That's, that's not a problem. But how do I um, connect the hammock around the trees? Uh, there's lots of you know. There's the whoopee slings and a whole lot of things. What would you recommend I do? I recommend that you fold the line in half and then put it round the tree and then put the end through the other end and then pull it tight so okay. basically make a knot and then in, you've got a video recently that i saw that you got on your rope you've got a different selection of uh, knots and loops yes that's my newest one with my sister in yeah that's the one what's that all about how to put a hammock cut but what's the what's the purpose of those loops and the knots? If you want it tighter, yeah, you put the rope through the other bit of rope through the carabiner, and the knot stop it from going too far. Okay, so how do you like your hammock? Do you like do you like it a soft hammock or do you like it tight? Tight. A nice tight, yeah. I recommend that as well. It's, it's a better night's sleep for me. Then you don't swing around all the night. So, um, is your sister getting into camping? Yes. And have you been teaching her things? Yes. What have you taught her then? I taught her about a tent. Ah, can she put the tent up herself or, or is it just yours? 
So, Alex, let's talk about your YouTube channel. Can we talk about that? Pardon? Can we talk about your YouTube channel? Yes. What's it called? Bushcraft Boy. And how many videos have you got? Six. Six. And what are those six videos? Can you remember them? Hammock, top, Billy, um, steel versus aluminium, Mida Charmy Mess Kit, steel versus aluminium. Yep. Normal Mida Charmy Mess Kit. No, wood gas stove, Kelly Kettle, and um, I can't remember the other one. You can't remember the other one. Oh, that's that's not a problem. So, have you got any more videos in the pipeline? Yes. Are, are we allowed to know what they are? Is it all a secret? It's a secret. Oh, can you give us Better one little hint? Well then? Can you give us one little hint on one video? No. Oh, Alex. Come on. Just okay, one. I'll give you a clue. Go on okay, then. I'll give you a clue. You can cook things on it. Ooh. Um. That's a okay. video. So who does the filming then, Alex? Me, no, Dad. You don't have a, a professional film crew with you then? Basically, no. Ah, oh, would you like to do something like that? Yes. I yeah. Would. So uh, I when you leave school, I know it's in a few years' time. What would you like to do when you leave school? Um, I'd like to be an accountant. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's a good job. You don't want to be a, a, the next Ray Mears? Or the bushcraft teacher. Oh. Oh, that's good. Both good jobs. But you've still got a few years to go there, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, we'll get there, though. So, Alex, have you got any questions for me? What got you started on Bushcraft? Um, what got me started? So, I joined the Scouts about six years ago. And I never went camping before that. Uh, it wasn't a thing we did in my family. Uh, and then, a bit like yourself, I was just reading books and watching YouTube channels uh, and then I just got the, got the bug and just wanted to get out in, in nature all the time. And I work um, underground. I don't get outside that often. So it's a good excuse to get out into the woods and uh, and explore the nature. So what do, your, what do your friends think of you doing all the stuff that you're doing? I don't know. Well, I wanted to be in one of my videos. Oh, and what did you say? No, they were, they were all mine. Ted, um, Yes. So, do your friends come with you camping? Yes. They do? Oh, that's good. And none of them are scared of the dark? Nope. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, Alex, if you could give me two tips about camping and bushcraft, what would you tell me? Get a parachute. What's the parachute for? To keep you sheltered. Okay, and, and you put that over your fire. Knife. Say again. And have a sharp knife. A sharp knife? Yes. Why is a sharp knife important? The sharper it is, the easier it is to chop wood. That's it, isn't it? And, and a blunt knife is more dangerous, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Alex, you sharpen your knives or does your dad do it? Daddy does it. Okay. And you've been watching him, though? Yes. And you and, and he does it okay? Yes. Oh, that's all right. You, you, you don't tell him off and tell him to do it a different way, then? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't tell him because I'll get tickled for like You get tickled? Year. Uh oh, that's not a good thing, is it, to be tickled? No. No. So, Alex, what's your bushcraft channel? How can people watch your videos? Bushcraft you, boy. YouTube bushcraft boy. YouTube.com forward slash bushcraft boy. Yes. To get to my YouTube page on Google, go on to Google, which is quite obvious. <laughs> and, and then type in bushcraft boy, and my channel should be the third to the top. Okay. That's that's helpful, and I'll also put a link in this uh, podcast for your your channel as well, so people can click on my website and get it via yours as well. Thank you. Not a problem. So, Alex, when's the next camping trip then? Are you going to come down to London? Maybe. Oh, so you're not saying no then? No. Oh, that'd be good. Okay, I just said it. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I'm not going to come down to London. I might do. I don't know. Oh my no. goodness, I don't think it's okay. You, don't, you you never know, do you? You, you can't predict the future. <laughs> no, you don't, unless you're a few fortune teller, which oh, it, don't really exist. Are you a fortune teller, then? No! <laughs> Nobody in the whole world is a fortune teller unless, unless they're ma magic. Oh, oh, magic? Oh. Can you do magic tricks? No. Alex, can you tell me a secret about you? Have you got any secrets? 
No. No. Ah. Oh. Don't want to have a secret. <laughs> Shall I tell you my secret? It wouldn't be a secret. Anyone? I'll tell you my. Pardon? Shall I tell you my secret? Uh, no. No. <laughs> okay then. Your secret if you can. Anyone because the room my it's bad. Oh, I was just going to tell you that I I prefer Bear Girls than Ray Mears. But that's not much of a secret. Everyone knows that. And, and before you can say Jack Sparrow, it will be spreading all over the news. <laughs> 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 On the news at 10 tonight, will there be a news flash? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. We can't have that, can we? Yes, I do like Bear Grylls, but not as much as Ray Mears. Oh. Yeah, Ray's your favourite, but uh, but you've got a, ba- a lot of the Bear Grylls kit. And his autograph. And his autograph. Ah, oh, where did you meet Bear, then? Um, I didn't meet him. It was uh, a friend on the internet that got it for you. Oh, excellent. He wasn't there. Yes. So what's your favourite um, bushcraft book by Ray, then? Do you have any books by him? Bushcraft Essentials. Oh, OK. That's a good book. I've got that myself as well. So, Alex, we're going to wrap really? this podcast up, okay? We're going to finish it in a few minutes. But what I want to know is if you could give any tips to someone who's who's your age, just starting camping, what would you say to them? Don't give up. Don't give up. And don't be scared. And what would you say about kit? Would you say um, buy anything or just buy a few things? What would you think? What would you recommend that they buy? Don't spend money unless you have to. Okay, that's a that's a very good tip. And what equipment should they buy? Top. Yeah, a top. Anything else? Hammock. Yep. Tent. Yep. Food kit. Yep. Wood gas stove. Okay. Kelly kettle. Yep. A knife. Yeah. An axe. No chance. <laughs> and a fire still to get the fire going. Yes. If they're good enough. Oh, oh. You need well, to follow instructions to be good at it. Okay. Alex, you, uh, you, you've you not said uh, anything, but you used to make handles, didn't you, for fire steels on a lathe? Yes, I did. You made them yourself? With Dad's help. That's fantastic. Out of what? What wood did you use? Oak. Oh, that's a good, that's a good wood, isn't it, oak? Yes, it is. And do you still have that handle now? Yes. And you're going you're gonna to cherish that for years to come, aren't you? And you can say, I made that myself. Yes, I can. That's amazing. That's really good. I'm slightly jealous. I've just got a plastic one. Ugh. We'll make you one. Oh, that's awesome. That would mean I would love that. All by your own hands, yeah? So, Alex, shall we um, just mention how people can get, in, can get in touch with you once again? Yes. What's the uh, web address again? Well, just so you you know, we we because there are so many trolls and things on on the internet and yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Um, on YouTube channel, we've uh, disabled comments. Yeah, no, that's a good uh, point. Just, just for safety, because of Alex's age. The Absolutely. web address. But, um, the the probably the easiest way to get hold of Alex is to to PM myself. Yeah. It's and the web address is youtube.com forward slash bushcraft boy. Oh, that's great. And Alex, can can people send you questions? Send them to my dad. And then you'll answer them, yeah. We don't want your dad answering the questions, do we? He he doesn't know much, does he? You're the you're the man that everyone's talking about. Yes, I am. Everyone is talking about Bushcraft Boy, and when I was saying that I'm going to interview you, lots of people were jealous and asking me uh, to ask you lots of questions. So that's why you wanted to do the interview. Yeah, yeah. I want I want to talk to you. I I want to get in there before anyone else because. I'm I'm hearing how popular you are. And I thought, you know, I need to talk to you. I can tell. I, I think he's going to be signing autographs at the next Bushcraft show at this rate. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's going to be a long, a long queue for you, Alex. Yes, it is. He'll know, he, he'll know he's made it when Bear Grylls and Ray Mears are at the front of the queue. Then, then he'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> when Ray and Bear are calling for you to come and help them. Pardon? Ray and Bear will be calling you soon, asking for you to come and help them on their on their trips. I know. That'll be that'll be awesome, wouldn't it? That'll be great. That'll be great. It would be. Alex, did you did your dad tell you something else I've organised for you? No. 
Did your dad tell you that uh, a magazine that I write for called the Bushcraft Journal, they want to do some articles with you. They want you to write some articles in the magazine for them. What, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> well, if you can send the Bushcraft Journal to me, I'll write as many as I can think of. Well, thank you for agreeing for that, and I will, I will tell the editor of the Bushcraft Journal that you're up for writing some articles for him. Okay, when do you want me to write them? Uh, I need it by in in about half an hour. Is then okay? shan't. <laughs> okay, okay. How about how about anything over a week? Yeah, we can we can sort something out, Alex. Don't worry about that. Uh, what article do you think you're going to write about? What's your favourite article? Setting up a tarp. I was about to say that setting up a tarp in a in, in the in a tent style. I know. Well, Alex, I'm going to I'm going to finish this podcast and interview with you, and it's been amazing talking to you. Okay, thank you very much for interviewing me. No, Alex, no, honestly, thank you, because everyone's talking about you, and, and it's great to uh, have an opportunity to talk to you and, and discuss your, your ideas and your tips and tricks. Okay, and please can, if I can make a little statement, go for readers, it. to find me, go on YouTube and type in Bushcraft Boy, or for Google, just type in Bushcraft Boy and click on the third one to the top. Fair enough. Why is it not at the top? Why are you third down? You need to be at the top, Alex. We'll get you at number okay. one. Okay, how do you do that? We'll get you at number one. Don't worry. Thank you, Alex. It's been a pleasure, and I'll I look forward to uh, receiving the, some goodies from you. And I'm going to send some stuff in the post for you as well. Okay, thank you. Not a problem. Well, have a good one, Alex, and thank you very much for joining us on the podcast. You're welcome. Pleasure, and say hello to your sister for me, yeah? Okay. Not a problem. Cool. Visit our website, bigmaninthewoods.co.uk. So there we are. What a cool interview. How cool is Alex? Yeah? Head over to his um, YouTube channel, uh, youtubechannel.com forward slash bushcraftboy, and check out those videos that Alex has been talking about. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, So another episode is done. Yep. And apologies once again um, for the quiet, no podcast in the last couple of months, but I'm sorry. So if you can do me one favor just before we end this podcast, head over to the iTunes and uh, give me a review and get my stars up. And I, I want to make it more popular and get the word of Big Man in the Woods out and about even more than that it is. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I will see you next month with another awesome podcast here on Big Man in the Woods. Big Man in the Woods.